title of our talk is an ab initio theory of double odd even plus differences in semi magic by people way uh, by me and the University of Michigan and the Institute. So uh, here is my email if you got some question. To begin with, uh, I'd like to tell what I, uh, what I mean by saying that ab initio. First of all, ab initio it doesn't mean QCD or QCD graded proof. Here I mean by saying ab initio uh, the theory which starts from the free nucleon nucleon interacting interaction potential. For example, it is a solving of uh, BCS equations for the parent gap. So, uh, recently some progress has been made in constructing a microscopic theory of nuclear pairing, which starts from the realistic and potential. And in this work, uh, we suggest a semi microscopic model to allow for many body corrections to uh, the simplest BCS theory. So, here you can see some results. It is the simplest BCS approach uh, with the, uh, no any corrections which was made by an uh, Italian group from Milan and uh, really it gives uh, reasonable results. Uh, the next slide please. I want to tell something more about the parent gap and it is the strong dependence on the parent gap from the effective potential. So, uh, uh, where G uh, is non dimensional parent council, so uh, just a small variation uh, of uh, Effective field leads to a variation of the parent gap. So that's why it is uh, uh, not so good here. As a result, we can uh, think about some corrections to the simplest BCF theory. And it was made in the basis where the effective mass is equal to the masses of particles. So, uh, what can be a correction here? First of all, we need to know uh, the effective mass function, uh, not only at the fermi surface, but uh, we should know it in a really wide range of, range of pulses. It was shown that uh, uh, that work by Branca, Rogila, et al. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, these corrections are. Uh, uh, don't, don't contribute, uh, don't give a, a really big contribution to the BCF theory. The second one is the main one. It is a low line surface vibration, so called phonon. And the contribution of it is a really essential. So here you can see a result uh, 0.7 mega electron volts. So that uh, the result for stun 120 is rather is close to the experimental. But uh, there is some problem with it. So um, in that work that they include not all really contributing diagrams. There are some diagrams which are opposite which has which have opposite uh, sign to it and as a result uh, not will really sell out there. Uh, and the third one is an exchange of high line in volume ex excitations. But uh, the calculations contain some uncertainties caused by the fact that uh, excitation's energy may be up to the, to the 60 mega, mega electron volts. So here it is suggested to allow for many body corrections to the BCA theory, where the effective parent interactions, which is found up in issue, is supplemented with a small phenomenological term. Uh, containing only one phenomenological parameter which is supposed to be universal for medium and heavy nucleus. So the simplest and that's uh, for it, it is written here. Uh, yeah. So it is, a, it is a picture of effective parent inter interaction, it illustrates the surface nature of pairing, mm -hmm. but uh, despite this fact that it, the pairing is uh, strong on the surface, uh, these corrections with the uh, phenomenological parameter, not on, not on the surface, uh, 
will influence the result because of the ex exponential dependence uh, from the effective potential. I have told about it uh, uh, a little bit earlier. So, uh, now about double lot even mass differences. Uh, in semi magic nuclei, there are two components uh, with different physical properties superfluid and, super and non superfluid sub subsystem. In the non superfluid subsystem, mm, this quantity of double lot even mass differences is found by solving a uh, an equation for two particle grid function. And it is defined as this. In superfluid system, uh, the difference is uh, approximately e equal to uh, two parent gaps, and the parent gaps we can find, parent gap we can found from the solution of the gap equation. Yes. But uh, it is crucial that both equa equations contain uh, the same effective parent interaction and uh, it is natural to use the same semi-microscopic approach for the normal subsystem uh, that was firstly applied for superfluid one. Uh, it was made by Pankrat, Asperio, Baldo, Lombardo, Isipersteyn. So, and there are some details, efficient details. So here we have a two particle green function in a non-superfluid subsystem in uh, the single particle wave function representation. So, E plus minus is the eigenenergies of nuclei with two particles or two holes added to the original magic form. Uh, so uh, now it is convenient uh, to use an um, interaction amplitude gamma instead of function k. So it's written here. Now uh, gamma appears such equation, it's written there. Uh, no, now uh, U is an interaction block irreducible on the two parent two, two particle channel. Uh, but uh, now I want to change it for energy independent uh, realistic potential and potential for free nuclear scattering. So as I have said that it is energy independent, uh, I have I can make an integration with respect to the relative energy, it's written there. So now I have an equation for gamma like this. Uh, now, I would like to make uh, to make some tr transformations in this equation in vicinity to the to the pool uh, e plus minus, and it leads to the equation for the eigenfunctions functions written here. So it is similar to the Schrodinger equation, but uh, this factor with with the uh, Occupation number, it, it, it illustrated the many body character of the problem, in particular to the power principle. Uh, but there are some problems with these equations. The sum over 3, 4 converges slowly, which is due to the fact uh, that uh, the potential has a short range character. And uh, to solve this problem, we employ a two step method breaking down the complete Hilbert space as. There, one to enter the Moodle subspace, it is defined like this, and the complementary sub subspace, which can be as large as we want. So I'll rewrite my propagator and uh, make a renormalization. So uh, my uh, equations are like this. So in the Moodle space, I have an equation for eigenfunctions, and the effective potential I can found from the equation in the complementary subspace. As I did, which uh, can be as large as I want. So now we use a local potential approximation. Uh, it means that in big subspace S I D, S1, sorry, uh, for every every point of, of the subspace, we can use formulas of infinite system, not the finite system, but infinite infinite system in potential U depends from R. So there are following transformation to make it and F, uh, E zero is a bounding energy. It, it is the energy that defines uh, the modal subspace. So the double mass differences are identified uh, with two first solution F E plus minus of uh, the equations of the equation for eigenfunctions. Uh, 
So it's correspond corresponding to the addition of two particles or two holes to the magic core into the state uh, chemical potential plus or minus. Uh, so here is a chemical potential set to divide and define like a uh, difference between uh, binding energies. So uh, the energy different in the left of the equation for eigenfunctions now can be rewritten like this. So it is uh, double mass differences to the right. So uh, if we're interested on the, in this solution, we may rewrite it like this, where gamma prime is following. So uh, it's written that such a particle state is included from the prime sum, five equals six equal one. And uh, it is worth saying that uh, angular momentum of all two particle states are uh, summed in the terms of total angular, angular momentum of uh, i equals zero. Uh, so the system of these equations were solved uh, by using a self-consistent basis of energy density functional. Here is uh, some references to the papers uh, written by Mayan Square report and produced. So there are some technical details. With details, we use uh, an argon and potential uh, uh, B18 and functional uh, modification. It calls, it calls uh, DF3A. Maybe if someone uh, will be interested in I'll speak in more detail about it, about this. Uh, here is. Uh, different phenomenological parameters is written here and I uh, I made a calculations uh, for the isotopic chain Z equals 82, 50, 28 and isotonic chain like this. So now I want to show you some results of it. Uh, so this is the result uh, 14 it is for particle, it is um, double mass differences for particles for chain tunnel. So uh, it's written triangles are ex experiment. Uh, so it, it is uh, simple as a circle with the simplest DCF theory. And uh, the others are uh, theory including a phenomenological parameter. It is not so good for tunnel. But uh, for example, for uh, nickel, uh, the theory including a phenomenological term uh, with uh, gamma equals 0.03 uh, behave, uh, behaves rather good. So it is the same, but for holes. So it is an isotonic chain for n equals 126 uh, particles. The same holes. So somewhere it it, yeah, it, uh, it gave it rise with uh, reasonable results, and it uh, seems uh, better than uh, the simple PCM theory. Uh, so unfortunately, I have no time to speak more in more detail way about the phonon corrections, but I'll just say a um, couple of words about it. Uh, how I have already say, said, uh, their contribution is essential. But in addition to this, it can change. It can change from the nuclei to nuclei. So uh, these corrections are worth to be uh, allowed for accurately, uh, including some diagrams uh, which are, which were not included by uh, Italian group. But uh, this semic microscopic model uh, with one phenomenological parameter uh, gives rather reasonable results. And after including a phonon correction, accurately, accurately concluding after phonon correction, we can uh, uh, make a choice of new phenomenological parameter with, which will imitate uh, the contribution of. Uh, the other correct other corrections uh, uh, which caused by uh, the mass functions highlight in volume excitations. Maybe you'll have some questions.